have to get these planes. Barely clearing them. Somerville Airport, automated weather observation, 2, 1, 5, 4, Zulu. Wind, variable, at 3, knots. Visibility, 7. Sky condition, clear, below 1, 2,000. Temperature, 3, 0. And then we are ready to go, start taxiing. Okay. Uh, quick look at the traffic, we know we got a guy taxiing out there about to go. Uh, he said he was inbound. He'll be doing oh, touch and goes. Yeah, roger that. Okay. And our plan, we're staying in the pattern, right? Yep. Okay. So we'll go traffic Cessna 17048 on the ramp taxi to runway 24 Somerville. Good situational awareness at the intersections. I like oh, it. Oh, yeah. Should have announced it, but I saw we were clear there. Okay. We are clear left here. Clear right. Clear right. And uh, we could do our run up down there as well. Yep, yep. All right, guys, I'm talking to YouTube real quick. Okay. So I didn't do an intro, but Chris, my flight instructor here, told me to wear a shirt that I don't care about. So that can mean only one thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, eventually, during this flight, you're probably going to hop out. Yep. Yep, so solo day, hopefully. All goes well on the pattern here, and I don't run over this bird. All right, I'll do a run-up real quick. Yep. So mixture full rich. Okay. Bring it up to 1700 here. All right. There it is. Here's okay. two left. There's my drop. Two right. Came back up. One left. Okay. My drop. One right. Came back up. RP. Good. Oil pressure. Temperatures coming up. Okay. Amp sucking right. is good. Good. Bring it back. Pull the car beat. Make sure we still idle. We do. Good. Back up to 1000. All right. Cool. All right. So he is on his downwind, so we can get in the air. Yeah, think. yeah. Just tell him we're getting ready to scoot. Okay. We're gonna get off quickly. Before right. him. And so real traffic Cessna one seven zero four eight taking off runway two four. Uh, we know about the traffic uh, and the pattern, and we'll hurry up and get out of his way. Somerville. You got plenty of time. You like to get your window in. All right. Spinal's clear. Yep, I checked that already. Before takeoff checklist, landing light is on, all lights are on. RP, make sure full ridge, flaps are up. We're good to go. Okay. Turn row traffic, Cessna 904 is left base, we runway 24, turn row. All right. We've got a little bit of a crosswind. Yeah, we do. It's almost a direct cross now. Now plane will crab into the wind, naturally. A little bumpy right here, so I'm going to keep my speed up. Okay. Okay, so that crosswind blew me, blew me quite a bit off course here. Okay. Yep, you caught it and fixed it though. Good job. Somerville traffic, Cessna 17048, uh, left crosswind, runway 24, Somerville. Oh, there's a helicopter inbound with a bunch of saws hanging from it. You see that? <laughs> Where is it? I'll show you. So, traffic Cessna 17048, turning downwind, runway 24, Somerville. Oh, I see, see it. See Oh, that's really cool to see it from up here. Yeah. Have you seen those before with all the saws on them? That's awesome. Yeah, on the ground. Yeah. So, right, traffic helicopter 2 off the Sierra. We're down on the air. Uh, turn out to the east, head towards Berkeley County. Low level, on the traffic. No real traffic. <laughs> I got a story about that guy, I'll tell you. I, oh. met, I met him at an airport one time. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'd love to hear it. He was sleeping there. Yeah. And he thought I was uh, a business competition. He was, he was all freaked out when I showed up. Oh, wow. Yeah. All right, so we beep the numbers here. There goes the carb heat. Okay. Bring back the throttle. All right. And first notch of apps are going to go full rich as well. Somerville traffic, Skyhawk 53794 is left downwind, runway 24. There's a guy right behind us, man. Yeah, there is, just 200 feet above us. And uh, do you see us in front of you there? Yeah, we got you in sight. We're going to do a 360 for space then. Thank you, sir. Good call. Very good. Uh, Somerville traffic, Cessna 1704, turning left base, runway 24, Somerville. And 
there comes. should be a helicopter or something over where is it? Yeah, he? that's him. I don't have him in sight, but he's out there. No, no, got 20 degrees of flaps, airspeed's looking good. Nice busy airport for my first solo. Right? Yeah, it's Somerville Airport, Cessna 17048, turning final for runway 24, Somerville. There's 30 degrees. Okay. Maybe we show them too white, or a little bit high. Okay. We know that crosswind's gonna move us to the right, so go ahead and pull the power. There it is, there's glide slope, catching it. Alright, so it'll just remember it'll be aileron, right rudder, whatever right rudder you need to get the nose centered with the center line. Yep. Alright, on glide path. Nicely done, nicely done. All right, flaps are coming up. Yes, sir. RB10. RB10, full throttle. There's a rotation. Skyhawk 5374 and left base runway 24, Somerville. Somerville traffic, Cessna 17048 on the go off runway 24, Somerville. Stole that one from a YouTuber buddy of mine. All right guys, so yeah, we flew around the pattern uh, three times total, so two more takeoffs, two more landings, and then Chris jumped out. Nicely done, nicely done. First taxiway, look at that. Trying to get there for this guy. Yeah. I ate up my brakes for that dude. Yeah. All right, I guess just take me... Uh, yeah, let me make my call yep, real quick. Yep. Yep. Soil traffic Cessna 17048, clear runway 24, Somerville. Soil traffic Cessna 17048, taxiing to the ramp via Alpha, Somerville. Where you want to go? Um, I guess I'll just hop out over here. That way you can kind of turn around and and head back for 24. I'll hop. I can hop out here and you can just spin back around. Just watch your wingtip clearance. All right, man, you got this. All right, brother. Catch your radio. Oh my god. <laughs> in my airplane alone. Hey Tom, how you hear me? Loud and clear. Alright, here we Total go. Total traffic, Skyhawk 53794, left cross the number 24. I've taxied my airplane by myself before, so I've done this, but this is it. This is my solo. And I'm nervous, but I'm more trying to be focused than I am thinking about being nervous, so. And I feel like I'm ready. I'm ready to go. So real traffic, Cessna 17048, taxiing uh, to runway 24 from the ramp, Somerville. All right, guys, this is it. I'll talk everything out myself and to YouTube. So clear left, clear right. Soil traffic, Skyhawk 53794, left downward runway 24, Somerville. Soil traffic, Skyhawk 5794, simulated an engine out, short approach runway 24, Somerville. So we will traffic Cessna 17048 holding short runway 24, Somerville. Go through my before takeoff checklist. So flaps are up. Mixture, we'll set that when we get out there. Car feed is off. Heat out heat, we don't need it. Transponder is on. Heading bug, we don't have it. Doors and windows will close those when we get out there. Landing light is on. Stoves, time note. Brakes will release them when we get out there. So we've got a guy doing a simulated engine out right now for runway 24. I can see him on my on my iPad here. He's on short final, you can see him right here. On the iPad here, coming in, plus 300 feet on that little blue dot in the middle. So I've done, I think, almost every single takeoff and landing in this airplane since I bought it. Chris did like two. Um, so this is no, no different. I can't even get near the runway until he calls himself clear of it, so we'll wait here. So, uh, traffic, stop 794 is on the go 24. We're going to depart the pattern out of the left downwind, so real. So, real traffic, Cessna 17048, taking off runway 24, Somerville. Close traffic, Somerville. Final is clear, confirmed. Lined up on center line right there. 
Total traffic, Skyhawk 53794 is left cross on runway 24. Yeah. Uh, we are good to go. Thick guys. Here we go. Airspeed's alive. Engine instruments are in the green. Let's rotate. Holy cow, this thing jumped off the ground with nobody in it. Whoa. Holy crap. <laughs> okay. Our speed's looking good. Engine instruments are good. Focus on the pattern here. <laughs> it hasn't sunk in. I'm the only one in this airplane right now, guys. Unreal. Yeah, so real traffic, Cessna 17013 left crosswind for runway 24 so we'll I've got the airport to myself now. So we're traffic, Cessna 17048, turning left downwind, runway 24, Somerville. All right, guys. This is the cruisiest part of the flight that I'm going to get solo, so... Um, my downwind leg. This is unbelievable. Nobody in this seat. I lost my camera up here, but that's okay. My face cam is pretty wild. What an experience. All right, everything is looking good. Airspeed's looking good. Engine instruments. Right where I want to be. Okay, when I get a beam of numbers, car beat's going to come out. Throttle back, extra full. 10 degrees of flaps. Okay, car beat out. Comes back my throttle. Extra full rich. And we're going to come down 10 degrees of flaps right here. First time. That's a little traffic. That's the 170 for it. Left face from the two ports. So we'll go. 20 degrees of flaps. Getting coordinated here. A65 knots. I'm already on my approach speed. I like it. So we'll have access to 17048 turning left final. We're going to 24 to go. So we'll go. Overshot my final a little bit. That's okay. Before landing checklist, mixture for rich gas undercarriage, uh, mixture set, prop, don't have one, landing lights are on, belts are on. And we are landing. A little bit of a left crosswind up here, but I think it dies off when I get near the surface, so I'll be looking for that. A little high. So we'll go traffic, Cessna 17048 on the go off 24, so we'll go. I'm happy with that landing. It was squirrely, uh, the wind down there. Um, got knocked around a little bit, but... No, two more. Let it down really easy. Thank you, sir. All right, so the mission today is three successful touch and goes by myself. All right, guys, well, I'm not going to bore you with more pattern work here, but uh, I did complete my last touch and go and then my final full stop landing. Um, both of them went pretty well. All my takeoffs and landings from this day actually went pretty well. And um, we'll just jump right to my final landing here and then uh, my reaction and then hanging out with Chris afterwards. So here we go. Max aerodynamic braking. Come up with that. Window open, cool off like a cool guy. Hard heat is in. Go ahead, good job, come on over. 
All right, guys. I am stoked. <gasps> Woo! Ha-ha! <gasps> ah, oh, I did it. I done flew me an airplane. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, after landing checklist, just to finish it out, why not? Flaps are up. Landing light, we'll leave it on. Uh, car beat is off. Picture is where I want it. Trim, set that back for takeoff. Right about there. And... That is it. <laughs> clear right, clear left. Some old traffic, Cessna 17048. Taxi to the ramp, Summer Bill. <laughs> yeah, dude! <laughs> Amazing! I don't want to stop. I want to keep flying. Oh my god. I wish this camera was working. See the freaking stupid smile on my face. <laughs> oh, someone took my parking spot. Those sons of bitches. Oh, baby. We did it. We did it. <laughs> There you have it guys, that was my first time ever flying an airplane by myself. It was indescribable, truly. Um, a lot of work leading up to that point, but I can honestly say that I was only nervous for like the first couple of seconds and then you got work to do, right? When you take off, you gotta fly the airplane, your mind immediately goes on that and it all is just, it feels natural. Um, and that's the way it should feel if you've uh, if you've done the, the, you know, the necessary training up until that point. So, as is customary, um, Chris here is uh, trying to cut my, my shirt off with a dull knife. That's not customary, but the, the back of the shirt part is. Um, and you can also see that I'm sweating through it, so pretty unpleasant experience for Chris, I'm sure. But um, I've got this uh, piece of shirt in my office right now. I'm going to frame it um, uh, so I can always remember my first solo. And actually, after uh, Chris got done cutting my shirt off, I shook his hand and I got back in the airplane and I went flying again. Since I got my solo endorsement and there was still daylight left, I went and flew. And uh, I actually went and flew over my house. I wanted to show my son. I got a, a four-year-old and a two-year-old and my four-year-old was still up. So I wanted to fly over the house so he could see me. And I called him on the cell phone while I was up there. And um, he was talking to me while I was flying and I waved to him by rocking the wings. And the first thing he says to me, he goes, Dad, Dad, do a barrel roll. So. So he doesn't quite understand um, general aviation yet. He's used to the paramotor world where uh, you can do that kind of thing <laughs> without special clearances or requirements. But uh, yeah, he's awesome. So um, yeah, then I went back and landed and here's my final thoughts. All right guys, we don't have much daylight left here, but um I'm almost at a loss for words. That um, that was amazing. Everything went very well. Um, plane ran great, obviously. All my landings went awesome. Takeoffs went great. Um, really, things just went great today. I had um, decent weather for it, so I'm lucky. But um, like I said, everything went good. My instructor said everything was good. I got no no feedback as far as we got to do this better, that better. Um, no criticisms, I guess is the word. Um, and then actually one of the guys at the airport that was riding around um, on a bike came over and told me that uh, my landing was really great. He was impressed that I was able to make it off by the first taxiway uh, without slamming on the brakes. So, and that was my goal. That's what I was trying to do. So awesome experience. So happy to solo. We're about, I don't know, three and a half weeks into my training at this point. Um, so it's on track. I'm right where I want to be. Next step is going to be cross countries with Chris, I, my, my, my CFI. I want to go into Class Charlie airspace, start working on my Class uh, Charlie stuff, uh, communicating with the tower, flight following, things like that. And um, then it's going to be solo cross countries, and then that's it. So i um, got to hit that 40-hour mark, some night flights, things like that, some other things we got to get done. But I'm on track, baby. I'm so excited. This is awesome. So lucky, so fortunate. Um, I don't know what else to say. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, all that jazz. You know the deal. See you guys in the next one. Peace.